Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay y'all, today I'm going to be making some hibachi. So, eggs for my, I have my eggs, but my rice only not bring the camera. I have my eggs and I have some peas that's also, that is what it's going to be going in the rice. And then I have my vegetables that is going to be on the side. I have onions, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, orange bell peppers, and some zucchini. And then this is what I'm going to be making my yum yum sauce with. And I have some real mayo, some ketchup, some granulated sugar. I have some tomato paste. I don't know if I'm gonna really be using that. And I have some cayenne pepper, some paprika, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and also onion powder is gonna be going in there. Okay, so that's for the yum yum sauce. For the shrimp, these are my shrimps. These are shrimps for the kids and stuff like that. And this is for the big people, this is for the little kids. And what I'm going to be putting on here will be some Caucasian seasoning, some curry powder, some Creole seasoning, some parsley flakes, black pepper, and I'm also going to put garlic powder and onion powder on those as well. And then when we go to the steak, what I'm going to be seasoning my steak with is some more of the garlic powder. I mean the onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm sorry, I thought I had everything out of here right now. The with some diamond dill, world famous spice and rub seasoning. So that's what's going to be going on there. Also with some pepper um, flakes. I mean some um, parsley flakes as well. So with further ado, also I'm going to need my soy sauce, so while I'm looking at it, I might as well get it and sit it by the um, rice. I have my rice in the freezer. I cooked it like two at 2.44, so my rice is well ready. Because you know they say you're supposed to cook day old rice, but I I cooked my rice today and I just cooked it a couple of hours earlier. It was 2.44, 3, 4, so about two hours later. And then now we're going to get into the video. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to start off with my yum yum sauce. And I'm going to use the real mayonnaise. And I put at least about, I want to say six spoons of uh, mayonnaise. And then I didn't, y'all, I didn't measure anything, so I'm not gonna lie. And I'm going to squeeze some ketchup on there. I then I don't know how much this is because I'm cooking for a big family, not just myself. Then I'm gonna add some garlic powder and then some onion powder. Just a little bit of onion powder. I'm gonna go in with the paprika. So I can have that kind of spicy, sweet. Y'all, this sauce tastes so good. Then I went in with the paprika and then I'm gonna level it out. I mean the cayenne pepper, I'm sorry. Then I'm gonna level it out with the sugar. And I also add some melted butter to that and then after that, stir it like real, real good. If you guys got a whisk, I suggest y'all to use that but I didn't have one so I just used mine with a fork and it took me a pretty long time but it did the job 
Next, I'm going to prep all the rest of my food. I already cut my bell peppers and onions and zucchini up. This is how I cut mine up. You can cut yours up however you want to cut it up. So now we're going to start by seasoning our shrimp. And we're going to be using the onion powder, garlic powder, um, creole seasoning, curry powder parsley and that's about it i'm going to be showing y'all everything that i'm going to be using i only had some caucasian season y'all i mixed up with my hands like so that's what y'all about to see now. I'm sorry if y'all feel uncomfortable, if but I feel like when you massage your food with your hands, you get flavor on all of it, and it just tastes so good when you put your hands in it. I know y'all heard people be like, "Girl, you put your feet up in that." It's because, baby, I be really getting down. Now we about to start seasoning our steak. I had got T-bone steak, but you can get any kind of steak that you want. I got T-bone steak because, like I said, I'm feeding a big amount of people. I'm not just feeding, like, three people. I'm feeding more like five or six, probably like seven uh, people. So as I'm adding my seasonings in, I'm going to be pressing them all in with my hand. So, like, after the salt, I'm going to be pressing it down with my hand to make sure it really like suck into the meat and so on with all of the rest of the seasonings just like so the steak over and do the same exact thing that I did to the opposite side to this side as well. First thing I'm going to start cooking is the rice. So I'm going to scramble my eggs and then I'm going to heat a skillet with some veggie oil inside of it. Then I'm going to add the rice and then I'm going to add, no first I'm going to add the onions, my bad. And then I'm going to add the rice, then the eggs, then the soy sauce, then the peas and vegetables and stuff inside of the rice.
don't be scared to add soy sauce, baby, because the more you add, the good it's going to taste. You don't want no white grains showing inside of the rice, so don't be afraid to use, like, a lot. Because <laughs> I love soy sauce. Next, we're going to start with the veggies. I'm going to be adding olive oil with my veggies. And um, first, I'm going to start off by cooking the zucchini. Then, I'm going to start cooking the onions. And I'm going to cook the bell peppers in their own skillet. Then, I'm going to mix it all together at the end. Also, adding salt and pepper to my zucchini to bring out that taste of it. Oh, my God. They were so good. camera store going dead y'all I needed a little help so I called my 10 year old sister in here to help me that's who y'all see serving the veggies right now my mom started us cooking at a young age so yeah <laughs> veggies was soft and well done it just looked like it's not this video was really an hour and 30 minutes long but I sped it up so that it can be like 25 or you know 30 minutes long because this video was very really long now I'm going to be starting up on my steak I'm going to be making butter steak so I'm going to be cooking our steak inside of butter and not veggie oil or olive oil or nothing like that so yeah So to make my job easy, at first I was going to just cook them as whole steaks and then cut them up in bite sizes, but I just let my little sister cut them up in bite sizes. I'm 
also going to be cooking the shrimps with butter as well and that's what's going to be going up in this mess skillet adding a very little of olive oil my camera had cut off and went dead my battery hair went dead so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i did take the battery out of the camera and charged it a little bit so that you guys could see me when i played it to see the um actual meal and the finished product and here it is Now you guys see why I say do not be afraid to use a lot of soy sauce because y'all seen I used a lot but my grains are still like light. They're not white. They're just like a light brown. I also cooked my steak like well well done like kind of like crunchy done and I cooked some like not crunchy done but all the way done. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell. And also go subscribe to Dramatic Crystal. I will love and appreciate y'all if y'all do do that. So now with further ado, I'm just making my intro before I start cooking. That's why y'all still see my food and stuff back here and right here and stuff. That's because I really haven't started yet. <laughs> but I love y'all so, so very much. Kisses! Mm -hmm. Scream.